Hi, Cybertruce here, back with another Enter Mario Dimensions New Game Plus 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 video, episode 152. And yes, I've done a day of off camera progression in Big Rip, or I haven't really touched anything, but you can see um, there is a progress bar, but it's unfortunately not progress bar. Photons, that would be actually a lot more useful. But we have E88 Eternal Matter, 2E50 Space Shards. So. And I don't even think we're in Eternity Challenge 10, and we're still gaining Eternity Points. In Eternity Challenge 10, look at that, whoa. 126 Ghost Particles, plus two orders of magnitude of um, Tachyon Particles. So it's, it looks like we are going to get 126 Ghost Particles, putting us at a total of 140. So, yeah, let's do this. Um, so it looks like it is pretty useful to try to to do um, runs like that because that means I'm okay. There's no there's no more neutrino upgrades here after the E55 neutrino one. Um, so I can get this. The next one costs a thousand. This is they slow distant antimatter galaxies by two twenty four point six percent. This is mean. This means I'm gonna get be able to get more um, galaxies. Essentially, so as as usual, we are going to go into our usual usual builds. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to push. The, the half life is measured in years here, which is a little bit crazy. I'm just going to do this just because um, I, I'm not I'm not like it may maybe um because they're not retroactive. So yeah, that is. It's that, but it looks like the slow, slowing down um, distant antimatter galaxies could really, I mean, that, that could be really powerful. I wonder if I actually got any more Automator Ghost. It's up to 5.79, so, okay, it is up to 5.5, which means I can do this. Which is pretty pretty good, but I still have to do some, some of the stuff manually. So, I mean, it is pretty... Pretty good to have five and a half. It looks like I may may get a new record of quarks because I'm already up to like E1, E1100 without even quantuming once. So yeah, it's it's, it's pretty OP. We're already up to E5 quadrillion. Like we didn't even do anything. I wonder why these are lasting years. I'm in my tree of decay build. Like it, it's, I don't think, like it's this is not even going up. Oh, I'm like, it's not even going up one bit. There we go. Once we get all these tree upgrades going, that, yeah. They're, they're appearing everywhere, these tree upgrades. And I haven't quantumed once. I could I could technically do my zero, a zero quantum, a big, uh, I could do a zero quantum ghostify. But I don't, I don't really need that. But it, it is pretty powerful. I, I mean, holding you, I think, does... Help speed up. We're already up to non-nillions, and I think we just get a few quantums that'll that'll boost it even more. There's another one of these upgrades. Um, we already got one. Of, yeah, this one, this one just doesn't seem to um, have the scaling that others do. So what I'm gonna yeah, I, yeah, there's the dilation, of course. Um, this emperor dimensions are faster. I can even get this upgrade, and then this would be a good spot to quantum and actually focus on these limit upgrades that I still need to manually do for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why I still have to do these manually, but whatever. It's it, it's dumb. I mean, hopefully there is an automator ghost for that because there wasn't. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be great. So it looks I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna do one more quantum and then I'm gonna do gonna try a neutrino grinding possibly. Or I, or maybe I should just start immediately start the big big rip. I'm I'm not exactly sure what the best best choice is. So yeah, it looks it looks like the branches of the branches of decay have calmed down a little bit at this point. It's just mostly yeah, it's not as fast as they were before, and it looks 
I can get E2007 Corks, which gives me a lot of prions as well. And that should get me... I need to get these. Um, because I, I think it's feeding them if I go to if I go to Amber Dimensions because of of the automator ghost here. So it looks like we're have I okay I've we're about to cross our ma maximum antimatter ever e six point six 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 quadrillion past, which is crazy. And if we want if I want I could neutrino grind at this point, but I'm not exactly sure how useful doing it here. I mean. This is definitely it's going up at a visible amount, so maybe it is pretty useful. And getting the two times as many ghost particles would help a little bit. Like, um, but I think maybe just getting a few more neutrino upgrades, like just getting one more, would make a huge difference. So I'm just gonna ignore that. We're getting even more antimatter than before. I'm gonna go in actually into nano field and. I'm going to a nano field build, of course, and and then and then just get get a decent amount of rewards. Get eighteen, um, maybe nineteen. Okay, no, no, nineteen, nineteen is going to take a while, and I I I'm more experiencing with a little bit of a quicker run, so I'm just going to start big rip now, and of course going to my big rip build. And gaining E40 eternal matter at the same time, and once I actually get this going, big rip is going to be OP. I haven't even gotten a single one of these upgrades. Oh my god! Yeah, this is fast. I didn't, I didn't expect that. It must be because the neutrino multiplier. And Attorney Challenge Ten isn't doing anything. That's it's weird. Attorney Challenge Ten. I mean. I've heard there may be a point where that happens, but it didn't look like it was going to happen. I mean, maybe it depends on, like, something. It may depend on nanofield rewards. I'm, I'm not sure. Like, it could be nanofield rewards. could be could be almost anything. But, yeah, Tyranny Shells 10 is not doing anything for me. It's better, even for, like, I'm just noticing, it's... Even for it isn't even just for attorney points. It's like, it's, and it's a huge amount. So, but this is enough ghost particles um, to get so ninety eight ghost particles. That's enough to get this. So then the then my question is if is it a good idea to try to grind all the way to um, five hundred twelve or even one thousand. And I'm not really sure that that's the thing. I am not really sure about what the best strategy is at this point. And it's interesting. I'm, this is, again, the beginning of the um, inflation era. Of, like, it, it's, it's the in, in inflation era of new game. Okay, I need to be holding you down, I think. Okay, I need E160 trillion tick speed. Then, then, then things start speeding. But this is the in, this is the inflation era of Ghostify. It's just it, it takes a while to build up everything, but like if you can get everything built up to a decent amount, that does really really help. So, and it, also it's another question is when is the best point to quantum? I mean, did, I mean it's not as big of a question as how far should. I mean, there's actually, there's, it's very multifaceted. Uh, I, I like it because there's a qu there's the question of how how much spin am I going to want to push to? How much, um, and then also just how um, how many rewards am I going to try to get? I'm going to try to just get eight. Which is, am I just going to try to go with the base 16? Am I going to try to get 18, 19, 20, or even do an overnight run and get 21? I mean, it, re it really depends on... Uh, on a lot of things. So, but it looks like the best time to quantum here is somewhere around E1700 quarks, and then I can just get these limit upgrades, get as many as I can, because that gives me a good amount of everything here. And I'm just going to experiment now again. Um, I feel like I should be getting, like, I feel like I should be getting more antimatter. But I'm, I'm going to be 
I'm just, I'm just one more thing. It looks like this distant antimatter galaxies thing. That seems like it's very powerful because I have almost 150,000 galaxies. Like that, I think that really does is a pretty big effect. So yeah, it slow down, slows it down by 20, 225. I mean, it's nerfed in Big Rip, but it feels like it even made a difference in Big Rip, even though it's nerfed. So I'm just gonna try um, because now it's town neutrinos and it's going up. It's going up pretty quickly at this point. So maybe it's a good idea to try to uh, get another one of these upgrades. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure how optimal that would be, um, but it, it, it really depends. I mean, there's. I mean, I'm getting. I'm getting almost half a billion every second. Which means that it would take about an hour to reach this. Or, no, two hours. But I'm already like halfway, so about one hour. No, not one hour. What am I saying? It would take ten minutes, not an hour. And so, just waiting like ten minutes for that, that could really make a difference. The thing is, it would make it to that. Um, the boosts are less. So, I'm just gonna. What I'm gonna do, I'm going to. I'm gonna th I'm I'm gonna do another over um overnight run of this and just see what happens. Hopefully I can get um these neutrinos up to the amount needed for this, and then I can get possibly enough ghostly particles in one run for these. I, that that's what I'm thinking. I'm I'm gonna do at this point. And who knows, maybe you'll even get a radioactive decay, because I got very close to that before. And and they're really exciting. But I think before I do that, I will want a little bit more quarks. Just, just like somewhere around E2100. At least for oh, E2100 gluons, not just quarks. And I'm, I'm thinking, I'm still probably just going to get town neutrinos up. I mean, it really doesn't matter all that much getting getting that, but it, it's it it'll also get me a lot of prions, and I know how powerful that can be because that, that can get me twenty, even twenty one rewards, and twenty twenty first. Or I mean, like these, like eighteen, nineteen, twenty, they all help. With just like general production, but 21 I think helps in big rip. So a 21 is is one that is especially useful if the others weren't already useful enough. So anyway, I, I have to keep having to find this. I can almost get a thousand eighth emperor dimensions. It's it's a shame that you can't get any more. That that these do nothing. So I'll give you. More of these, like they—they they literally do, not, do nothing. So it looks like I'm gonna be grinding just the muon neutrinos. It doesn't look like it's gonna be anything else. And of course, I'm just gonna—I'm just gonna check tree of decay because it is useful to check tree of decay every now and then. Because I mean, actually, maybe it is worth it as a quantum just one more time. Maybe. About twenty orders of magnitude. I'm not sure how useful that would be at this point. But maybe it's somewhat useful, like especially okay. That that was one percent increase. It wasn't very useful, and it's actually limited by quantum food. So, but, but yeah, it's gonna put me in town neutrinos, which are a little more useful. This is now up to four point oh four. This is eleven point five almost, and this is a one point one four increase. So it does it does really seem like. I am making progress, and I, I'm just, I think I'm just pushing a little farther just so we can get a little bit more neutrino, a few more neutrinos than before. It's actually a possibility if, if I am getting enough of these that I could be, I could get all the way to this, and this this seems pretty useful. The eternities was were helping me, and getting this upgrade will allow banked eternities to help me as well. Which means that I could possibly, um, that it's probably going to be a couple orders of magnetic space shards. I mean, people are saying it's really good. I 
I mean, it seems good, but it'll help. I mean, it doesn't seem like the thing, to, like the be all end all, but it seems pretty good. But anyways, um, I'm just gonna do an overnight run, see see where I end up, and and I'll see how many ghost particles I get because I know at this point this is where things start to inflate. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.